Hi guys, welcome back. This is Tarun again, back with another fitness video for you folks. So tell me something. How many times it has happened with you that you didn't want to train? You know, there were days, you know, probably you know you had an excuse. Hey, it's raining. It's too hot. It's too cold. I can't train today. I'm sore. My body is tired. Happens. You know, it happens to all of us. Happens with me. Happens every time. So I'll tell you my situation. You know how I fixed it. So in this video, I'll be telling you how you can fix this situation, wherein you kind of not avoid your uh, training sessions and you get more consistent. So how can you be more consistent? Is by having a gym partner. You know, when I say gym partner, you know, uh, I'll tell you how it works. So I'll tell you my experience with with a gym partner. So what used to happen was, you know, I used to be one of those guys. You know, there were days when I would not want to train. I would be like, I would be home, you know, you know resting. Hey, I can't train. And you know, then suddenly I get a call from a friend of mine, this gym buddy of mine, that hey, Tarun, time to train. Yeah, Aaja, kya kar? Let's go. I'm, I'm going to the gym. And I'll be like, no, yeah, Aaj nahi. I can't train today. I'm tired. Ye wo. So he'll hang up. And what do you know? Next thing you know, in 15-20 minutes, he'll drop by to my house and say, hey, let's go and train. And I'll be like, oh shoot, man, I can't go. But he'll actually drag me. And take me to the gym. And trust me, guys. On those days, I'll have the best of workouts. I don't know why. Psychologically, when you're not in the mood, and suddenly you're taken there, you know, you get the best of pumps and best of workouts. So that's why it's always important uh, to have a gym partner, guys. And this is exactly what I want to share with you. You know, uh, you got to have a gym partner who can actually push you to train. Because what, what you know, what this will have, what this will do is, not only you'll be more consistent, but you'll also be more competitive. But remember. One thing: whenever you choose your gym partner, always ensure that he is better than you in terms of training. Uh, why? Because you know, let's say if you play any sport, let's say you play tennis or let's say you play squash. So it's always important to play with a player or have a partner who's a little better than you. Because what will happen is, if you play with someone better, chances of you improving your game are also a lot higher. Similarly, in you know, when it comes to your gym buddy, if the guy is better than you, more muscular, lifts more heavier than you, chances of you getting more competitive with him are also higher. You know, and in the bargain, you will also end up lifting heavier. When you lift heavier, you're gonna grow. So always remember, guys. It's not just about the bond and friendship. You know, you know the brostana. It's always about, also about. Most importantly, it's about, you know, guy being better than you. And it's okay if he's better than you because he's going to get the best out of you. And you know, once you start training together, once you come up to that same level, trust me, it's only going to benefit you. And remember, I've talked about something. If you remember, activating type two B fibers, which only gets activated in your ninth and. Tenth repetition, and when that gym buddy of yours is standing right behind you, spotting you, so that you could lift those extra two to three reps or squeeze those extra two to three reps, that's where you're going to grow. So how much? I mean, how many times you can you know take help from a helper or anyone? It's all that's it's always good to have a gym buddy who can actually push you, motivate you, you know, uh, you, know you know, take you to a days when you don't want to be in the gym and make you do exercises which you always thought you couldn't do. For example, there are certain exercises we all dread, we all fear to do. For example, I've seen a lot of people you know shying away from doing deadlifts, but if there is this guy, you know, who's very good with deadlifts. You know he'll actually teach you how to do deads, and, and he's standing right behind you. So what will happen is that you know, you'll also learn deadlift. Similarly, if you have a fear of squats or if you have a fear of chin-ups, I see a lot of people also get you know a little dreaded about chin-ups. How am I going to take myself up, take my body up? But if you have a gym buddy of yours standing right behind you to push you, guys, these things really help. You know, and when when you when you really take your body, when you really push your body. Uh, uh, to another level, when you know somebody is right behind you, watching you, spotting you, you know, then that fear is gone, and you know you can actually take your body to heights. Similarly, you know, and let's say if you uh, if you're a married couple, you know, uh, you really don't have to kind of look for guys. You know, then you don't have to have a brostana. Then you can actually take your spouse with you, and you can work out together. You can bond together. You can have a great time together. You know, if she is into, uh, if you're into training, lifting heavy weights, hey, why don't you also introduce her into weights? And guys, trust me. You know, women can never get bulkier lifting weights, and you know it can also be a great factor when you get to bond together. And obviously, you know your wife or girlfriend will not have an opportunity to tell you that hey, most of the time you spend in the gym, take her with you. You know, next thing you know, she stop complaining. You know, and next thing you know, you've cracked that puzzle. On you know, on on a healthier note, on a side note, always remember, guys. 
it's always good to work out when you have a partner it's always good you know you always grow when you have a partner with you you know you know because you know that's the only way you know uh, you will get rid of your fears and that is the only way scientifically you'll be able to activate your type 2 fibers which will be responsible for your muscles to grow so i hope you know uh, you know you start uh, kind of identifying who should be your gym buddy remember it's not always about emotions picking up your gym buddy okay i get along well with you you understand me in type boom become my gym buddy no it's about how you train together you your training chemistry has to be really well and remember the guy has to be good better than you that's the only way you're going to get the best out of each other so i hope this message gets loud and clear into your head and you probably start identifying a gym partner for yourself any one of you who have any questions for me feel free to reach out to me either on my youtube facebook or my instagram and i'll be very happy to help you how you can choose your gym partner so until we meet again peace